just to um, address some of the things. Uh, I know I've been putting a lot of keto recipes and keto information on my homesteading uh, channel. So to address the questions, what does keto have to do with homesteading? Well, for me, I love homesteading, okay? And it's homesteading is about doing what's best for your family, getting healthy. And when I come across keto on um, Dirt Patch Heaven's homesteading site, which is a blessing that you put it there because I had been praying because I had a damaged knee. Because if you're not healthy, it's hard to homestead. I suffered, struggled all summer. Sorry, I'm driving while I'm doing this. Um, all summer to get my garden in shape and I couldn't do half of what I needed to because of my knee. And a lot of it, I, I know I kicked it, but a lot of it too, I was, I had put on weight because of my knee. And so I had been praying and I wanted to really do something. I didn't know what to do because it's hard to exercise. And I was already doing a lot of the natural because I'm in school for holistic medicine. And I'm like, something is not working. And I come across Dirt Patch Heaven and her video on keto. And she had lost, she went from size 14 down to size two. And I was like, how did she do that? And then I was like, I thought I heard a keto before, but I didn't, wasn't quite sure what it was. So all weekend, I just kind of binge watched all the videos on keto. Keto recipes, and then I went on to Dr. Berg, Eric Berg's um, website. He's got so much information on keto. Um, and I don't consider it a diet. Like people say, is it a hard diet? Do you have special, sorry, I have to drive, <laughs> menus uh, or meals? And it's like, for me, it wasn't. You know, like you don't have to have all that special stuff. It doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. Whatever you normally eat, just take out a bit oh excuse me my phone okay so whatever you eat normally like when I our family was you know we all, we're down to two kids at home but we had ten we have ten kids um, so I got used to we like soups we like big you know I like one pot meals you know and so all I did was when I made my chicken stew I took out the potatoes I didn't put the potatoes in and I put more turnip or I've added cauliflower to it. Um, and when I made my chili, I just took out the beans I, and I just added a lot more hamburger and it tasted actually better. I preferred it more without the beans. So it's the spices, that, oh, sorry, my car is shaking. It's, it's, it was snowing. <laughs> so anyways, so it's kind of yucky out. Um, but anyways, so I took out the beans and I liked it better. Um, then I made a stuffed cabbage soup and that was amazing. I mean, I just, instead of putting pasta in, which they do have a keto pasta, um, if you go to vitacost.com, there's a, some kind of, it's no carb, it's made with uh, shiitake mushrooms. Um, so if you're really stuck on that, you can get that. There's lots of recipes on YouTube on how to make your own homemade, low carb keto pasta. Sorry about the bumpy road, it's shaking my little stand here. Um, the roads get like this in the winter especially um, so anyways that's what I uh, you know one second okay so what I discovered is that it wasn't so much the pasta that I liked I mean yeah but if it was plain I wouldn't like it I liked it with the stuff on top so I just used different alternatives like zucchini you can make you get one of those little uh, noodle makers or whatever they call them I have one that shreds your vegetables like a noodle. You know, I think I paid five bucks last year on clearance at Walmart and I bought a bunch of them for my kids. You can use that or you could just, you know, like make it chunky and put it over cabbage or cauliflower. They even, I made a coleslaw, okay? Now usually I add a little sugar in my coleslaw. So this time I just added stevia. So just if you, you have to really, you should be a cook. If you don't know how to cook, learn to cook because this is going to help you. Now, salad dressings, I went through all my salad dressings and all the ones in the store and they all have sugar in them. Even if it's just Italian with oil and vinegar, it still has sugar. So what I did was I looked up a standard ranch recipe and then just tweaked it and put stevia, one package of stevia sugar. But it's amazing. I used, uh, I'll give you the recipe. I, I don't, it's, uh, I put like a half a cup of mayo and then like a half a pint of, um, whipping cream, heavy cream, and then then I just blended it, and I put all kinds of like 
My husband loves it better than any dressing you ever had. I add a little bit of chill, uh, chili powder to it and cumin and garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper. Um, and I just add the spices that I like and blend it up in that little blender that I have. And it's the best. And it has the, those little blenders that you get. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this. That sh um, what do you call them? They're little blenders that you can you make a smoothie in or whatever. I just use that and then I can put the, the spout on it and put it in the fridge and when we want dressing we just pour over it. And that's good and it's got the healthy fat that you need for the diet. So if, if you're not into eating a lot of fatty foods, you can just have your salad and put that on it. It's really good. But you got to use real mayonnaise. I use canes because it's all natural. Because before, um, whenever we did anything, I still did everything all natural. So anyways, um, let me get back to you in a second. So this is what I was trying to say is that in order to do homesteading, you have to be physically fit. It's a lot of work and it's worth it. It's awesome work. And that's what I guess upset me because I love doing those things. I love farming. I love gardening. And it was like when your health isn't good, it robs you of that joy of doing that. And so with the keto diet, after I um, get back to the beginning anyways, when I started talking about, I watched every video on it about all the recipes, I went on Pinterest, I got recipes, I got myself as much knowledge as I could, and then I felt guilty because I'm in school for holistic medicine and nutrition, um, and I felt guilty because I was behind on my homework because my grandson got married, and then my daughter got married, and we were just so busy. So, and I felt like I should have been catching up, but I felt like my health was so important, I needed to do this. I'm learning about health, and I need to learn what I need to do for myself first. So when I went to do my assignment, it was on diabetes and ketones. So that was pretty cool. So I had to actually do research on case studies on the keto diet, and it actually reverses diabetes. And it's got so many other health benefits, it's amazing. Um, but I'll get into that more because in with the healthy fats that you're getting when you're, you're you gotta get your body into ketosis, you have to stop eating the carbs means the potatoes, the breads, the, the pastas, um, sugar, sugary drinks, and use your alternatives. There's so many alternatives. Um, some people get keto flu, which is actually sugar withdrawals, but we didn't get it, my husband and I, because we weren't big sugar eaters, um, but, you know, some people do, I guess. You just got to, and also, it's also if you're dehydrating yourself, you got to make sure you're getting the electrolytes, whether you get it in a pill form or I, I just take a, like if I feel like I'm dehydrated I take those uh, oh what do you call it parsley capsules that they have I think the vitamin shop has them I know they do around here I don't know but just take one of those those are loaded in potassium and other things and take it with water make sure you're getting enough water um, but it's an amazing diet I can't believe how I feel I'm not hungry my husband works he's a pastor but he works and drives truck sometimes 16, 18 hours a day. And he said, I can't believe I'm not hungry, you know? So we need to get the energy and I'm excited. I feel like I have hope again because this was a barrier that I had a hard time trying to get past, is trying to get down past a certain weight that I've always been, my plateau or whatever they call it. Um, one second. So anyways, um, yeah, so this is the thing. A lot of people can't get past that plateau if you lose weight and you're always starving or you got, you got to diet like crazy, I mean exercise like crazy. And in this, they don't recommend you um, exercising a lot, especially in the beginning because stress is what stops your metabolism. If you're doing stressful exercise, you're not going to lose weight. You're just going to get fatigued and you're going to get worse. So you need to let your body rest. You need to let your body get used to changing from uh, burning glucose to burning um, fat. And it has to switch over to ketosis. So that's a time of resting, taking care of yourself, doing it right. And then after like about, I don't know, I had like after three or four days, I started getting bursts of energy. And you'll get bursts of energy because it's burning fat and it's like a really high, it's like putting high oct octane fuel in your tank. Burning glucose is like dirty electricity. It's just not good. It's like 
It's like those fluorescent lights that's burning dirty. It's not healthy for you. You know, it leaves a residue and it burns quick and it leaves you fatigued after. Where with keto, it, keto, it doesn't leave you fatigued. You eat a meal, you get energy. You don't, um, sorry, the second's wrong. You, when you eat a meal, you get energy. You don't feel tired after a meal. So, I'm going to pause this till I park somewhere because it's shaking too much on the road. Okay, so I don't want to make this video too long, um, especially because when I'm driving, it's, it's just, it's not that it's hard to drive with it, but the roads are bumpy. It's, it's on a stand, so I'm not having to touch it or hold, I'm not having to, you know, hold something in my hand and look at it. But I wanted to let you know, too, is that at the end of this video, I will put the links for Dr. Berg's um, video on what is ketosis, or what is keto, and, uh, and I'll also put the video for his wife's waffle recipe. She's amazing does awesome cooking get subscribed to their channel and you'll get a lot of the recipes and notifications she's got some awesome and she's got a good personality she's real sweet so anyways if you like this video subscribe to my channel give us a thumbs up and comment in the comments below let me know if you've been doing keto and how you've been doing on it and if you're a homesteader you know because homesteading and you're struggling because you know you're tired because remember keto is not just for losing weight it's for energy it's for physical health it restores all your muscles and your joints. The, the fat is with the mitochondria. It rebuilds the mitochondria, which is a part of your cells that rebuilds new cells, okay? And it's great for the brain. It's great for all your muscles, your joints, your cartilage, your bones. That's what our body's made up of. So it needs those, you know, it needs the fat. And all this society is taking everything low fat, low fat, and they put sugar in it. And if you go to the grocery store, everything's low fat, even real cheese low fat, low fat, um, and everything's got sugar in it. It's things that you wouldn't think have sugar have sugar in it. So you have to really, it's a good idea if you learn to cook, if you don't know how to cook, because most of this is cooking, you know. But, it, it, you know, you have to learn how to order when you go out to a restaurant. You can order, just don't order the bread. Even if you have to go to McDonald's, sometimes I have to go. I'm stuck in town in this area, and I've got my grandkids, so, and I just order, like, I don't order the regular burgers because I think they're supposed to have grain or something in them. But the quarter pounder with cheese, which is lettuce and tomato. No no toppings. Lettuce, tomato, and mayo. No no bread and no ketchup and all that because that's got sugar in it. Uh, and those are not everyday things. That's, you know, if you're out and you can't go anywhere or Burger King, places like that, Wendy's, just get it with no bread, no ketchup, lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Those are the three things that are safe as far as if you have to eat out fast food. Uh, a lot of the restaurants, even Subway, I heard, I did, a, I watched a video, and their chicken, grilled chicken, is really mostly grain. So be careful what you eat if it's chicken, because um, they said, believe it or not, theirs was only 70% actual chicken. So I don't know what the rest is. <laughs> but, so that's, that's one thing you have to be cautious about eating now, unless you go to a regular sit-down restaurant, um, like we did, we just ordered roast chicken. Nope. You can't get fried chicken because of the breading. You can have fried chicken at home if you, you know, put your almond flour in a Ziploc bag with some spices, shake your chicken up in there and bake, and bake it or fry it with a coconut oil or a healthy oil. Then you can have fried chicken. But out in the public, the, the chicken has um, breading and stuff on it, which is made from wheat, which is carbs, so you can't have that. But anyways, I'll stop rambling. Like this channel, give us a subscribe to our channel, give us a like, um, and ring that little bell on the side because if you do, then you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. Alright, thanks and have a blessed day and a happy new year.